It's quite something, isn't it, here? I mean, you then, you know, Oppenheimer, a story about the man who created the nuclear bomb, that came yeah. in second in this. Uh, and the amazing thing is, I mean, you couldn't get more yin and yang than this in many ways. And I was a bit sort of surprised, but this has become a common thread, that people go and see one and then go and see the other straight afterwards. In fact, <laughs> on a personal level, my, my, my godson did that yesterday, and I was just sort of uh, yeah, just scratching my head, thinking, you know, how do you make that transition between the two of them? Some are saying, actually, yeah. here, uh, Yvonne, that this, these two movies could actually save cinema. I mean, are they over it? I don't know, but yeah. it, it really is quite something. And, you know, the uh, uh, Oppenheimer by Christopher Nolan there as well, said to have the best three days uh, opening than his previous Inception and also Dunkirk as well. So, you know, it's, it's really quite something. It appeals to everyone. Right? I mean, Bar Barbenheimer memes have been all over the place. Um, I, I don't have the time now to watch two films in one day, but certainly <clears throat> I, I think it's one to watch. And it really appealed to everyone, really, you know, um, these two movies. But yeah, Barbie, the, the fourth highest grossing film debut in the North American market ever, just goes to show that Barbie is winning for now.